Hello, now sh should be problem solved. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Um, now, let's continue. Okay, that's technology stuff, always. Uh, at my end, I have to do everything over here. I have to check in everything. Sometimes just missing one little thing and could be cause issues. Uh, in the future, it would be nice if I have a system over here to, <laughs> to set up everything before I sit down. Um, okay, let's, just, let's continue. Uh, all right, uh, we just talked about that. Uh, we have some members joining the Enjoying Art on Patreon, and uh, I would like to hear more of our new members, what you would like to learn a little bit more at this moment. So don't worry about it's going to create more work for me because this is the joy part for me. And I, I like to uh, be more helpful. So just let me know what you would like to learn right now. And, and then we're going to create more of those lessons, even more for fundamental lessons. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is great. Let me know. Write to me. Uh, and what are you in Boston? <laughs> okay. okay, let's continue. Now, we talk about like a step by step. And when we come to this part, right? Now we're going to come back, take a look at it. Looks like the body is just a little bit too wide. And you have to make a decision. Looks like the, the bottom of his foot could be right here. Okay, this is good. And now make the figure a little bit more uh, longer. And then take a look at over here, the head. And thank you. And, and by the way, we have a community. And these uh, lessons as is supported by uh, there and encouraged by uh, our member on Patreon. And the address is right at the top over here, if you can see it. It's patreon.com slash youngchen. Come take a look. Um, if you think this is going to be fine for you, you need a, a place to learn with a community of like-minded people, artists, and we're waiting for you here. Okay. All right, this is good. Now we have their main figure over here. Now it looks like the, the shape is very much right. And now I'm going to do a little bit more. We're going to get a little bit more yellow, a little bit more red, right? And this is just the drawing uh, part, okay? We're not started painting yet. So you can use the pencil to do this drawing, okay? Or uh, you can use, just like me, and doing the watercolor. And some people in the past ask about, uh, can I just use the color pencil or color soluble color pencil to draw and and hoping that the color pencil would just easily melt into the watercolor painting it doesn't do that and it's only some is a melting into the uh, the watercolor painting and and still have quite a bit and staying and the paper create some texture you may not really want so if you brave brave enough, just directly and just just use watercolor to to draw it. Okay, right now I to draw it with a very very simple uh, shape. Okay, here you go. That think about almost like a silhouette, right? Okay, here you go. And here you go. That's is good. So there I can also put a little shape on the, on this. So I draw with shape, not draw with line. So this the shape, and I can. Uh, right now, whatever you're doing at the beginning, it may not reflect it, the color or the value that should be uh, should be appropriate. Right now, it's just draw it a little bit simply, okay. Uh, and then I'm also going to draw the reflection, like from here. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna have a little bit brown color, right. And here you go, like that, and coming down over here, here you go. Now the body, 
and take a look at the left side of the body over here. Okay, this is good. Like that, and coming over here, here you go. Coming in, almost like opposite, okay. That's really fun to doing the beach refraction. Okay, that's just pretty good, and that's good. I'm gonna have this a little bit even lower. You don't really see now. So I'm gonna go back to the larger view. Um, here you go, let's take a look at is the whole drawing. I, I think this is pretty good. We try to nail down the compositions uh, around these two main figures. So that we do that uh, first. So I think the shoulder can be a little bit higher. Okay, right here. Okay. And this shoulder can be a little bit higher to get the shape even better. And so that is very easy. It's just, you can see that even though at the beginning you miss uh, the audio, it's just very important to uh, start from something uh, simple, like the larger shape. So I'm gonna have the the head coming here, or maybe a little bit darker. The head right here. Okay, start from somewhere, the larger shape, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna also go into the nose is this way it's pop up, okay? And that's good. If you like to paint people, and we are going to start our portrait uh, challenge in the community and start from uh, the end of this month. And if you are a member, you'll be able to get in, seeing all the reference, or you can even use your own reference. And you can share uh, your learning in the community and we're gonna look work to it, work together to go through that the whole process. So that at the end, and you're gonna feel a little bit more and more familiar, and not be afraid of painting people. Okay, this is good. So we're getting the the placement, and we can come back to do a little bit more of this. And now I'm gonna take a look at the baby, right? Take a look at the baby. I'm gonna have something really really light. Okay. Let's take a look at what compared to the uh, the adult, and that's the head of the baby is right over here. Over here, you see that there's, it's very important getting this figure right, and then we come here. That's just look like the head, and what's at the bottom? The bottom a little bit forward, so the bottom right here, and also think about the angle. Okay, if you think about this, the head. And what's this, the, uh, the foot? The foot look like uh, the two foot is very much in between it. That is just where the head and landing, right? Coming down like this. So the baby's weight is not fully depend on one of the two feet. It's just actually right in the middle, right there. So you see that the decisions is only one thing at a time. So don't try to do more than that. So this is good. Now we have the shape. And now I'm going to zoom in for you to see a little bit easier, right? Let's take a look. And now you can see uh, we have the foot, we have the head. Now we think about where's the middle, right? The middle is right about the bottom of the baby shirt. Okay, right there. And now I'm gonna draw the shirt. Shirt is about right here. Looks like a rectangle shape. Okay, like that. And then this is the bottom of the head. Look like that. And here you go. Now the arm coming down this way, like this. Okay, that's good. And the finger, like that. And then this arm, and coming up right here. Okay, that's good. So let's get the shape right. Okay, right here. Now, and then uh, under the pants is it taking only half of the bottom here. Is uh, maybe a little bit less than half. Like here we go. I'm gonna just get a little red color like this. And this is good. I want you. I want you to see everything. Just simple shape, and not a baby. If you see shape, you can focus. You see as a baby, you think too much, okay?
Okay, that's just good right there. And and right underneath, uh, I'm gonna let it wet, uh, let it dry uh, first before going back to that. So here we go. There's just the one foot is right under. Okay, just keep checking. I saw that some people like uh, uh, doing the the reflection and the reflection on this side while the baby on the other side. It's kind of a little weird, right? So you have to make sure you're checking the uh, vertical. So now here you go. Now on this side, and that's the body. And here you go, the body over here. And here you go, right there. There's some soft shape over here. Okay, here you go. We're gonna come back with the correct colors a little bit later. So the foot, a little bit more, a little bit more shape like that. That's good enough. Like that, and let's have a little bit tiny, a little bit darker, like that. Okay, and we also make the a drawing template for if you believe that you need a little help uh, uh, for the drawing, and so that you can focus more on solving some uh, attractive watercolor challenge right at this moment, and you can use and download the. Uh, drawing template. Uh, drawing template is in part of the learning center. Uh, in the learning center under each video. So you can go over there to under the video you see if she say templates you can download it. And not all the uh, lessons has that yet. We are keep like a working backward uh, to the older lessons, if you if you are seeing the some lessons has no template yet, you can just send a message to me on on uh, Patreon, and I would make it to be a priority to work on that for you. Okay, that's good. And coming here. That's good. I'm gonna leave a little bit shape on the body, and and whatever that shape that would be, you can make it up to be something meaningful to you. And right now, I just put a little bit shape like that. That's good enough. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the arm, and whatever we're doing now is just try to put everything. Uh, in the right place and we can come back after we balance the entire painting and then we come back to do the details and the uh, face the whole head just a little bit light brown color right so I only use the three primary colors so make things make the process much easier for you and that's the yellow red and the blue color a simple thing okay here you go and that's just the head I want you to think just like a just a shape, a simple shape, okay, like that. So if you think it's too dark, it's very easy. Just lift up some color, okay. That's good. Now it's a little bit lighter. We can come back to that to do the detail a little bit later. So this is great. Now we have the bigger uh, shape, and right now I'm also gonna put this a little bit darker uh, for his skin tone, and. This is already dry, so I'm going to put this whole thing over here, a little bit darker. So when we're walking into it, and it's making it much easier. Okay, here we go. That's the thumb on this side. And write down your questions, and uh, let me know. I would like to what I would like to know what you're thinking. And here you go. That's good. Right now, now let's take a look at the bigger shape. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the back over here. We I talk about that it's important to make those shape to become a supporting shape to the main figure. Let's take a look. This is the whole shape over here. It's very interesting. I can make it look like a, a mountain or whatever you feel like a little bit rocky uh, mountain if you want to. And I'm going to remove the two buildings on the top. So I don't need that. So it keep in mind still in the drawing process right now. I'm going to take a look. 
So I'm going to have the water coming up a little bit more like this and above his head. And I like that is the water, the wave over there. And that's good, the bottom. And I want this uh, darker shape a little bit away from his head. So I don't want it to be too close to it. Right? So I'm going to have this so only here like that. So don't get too close to it. Uh, second thing is very important. I don't want those shapes to be too dark, right? If they're too dark, it's gonna take away the tension. Also make it, make it look like very too much forward. I'm gonna have that, a little bit shape like that. That's good, a little bit farther away. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, the area perspective, which is how we see the objects uh, contrast. Uh, color saturation and a little bit more away just feeling a little bit more um, a little bit lighter or less contrast so actually I'm going to try to use a little bit uh, a little bit grayer color like that that's good like this this is good so we see a little bit more shape like that you don't have to make everything looks very clear and defined and let your audience to uh, have input Okay, now I have some uh, placeholder and we can do that. You can find other reference over here too and say, oh, what well, I'm going to put it over there, <clears throat> make it look like something that you have experience. Okay, that's good. And, and then the sky over there and then take a look at the beach. Uh, okay. Take a look, there's the tie coming up over here and look like that from here and all the way coming on this side. <coughs> that will looks good. <coughs> okay, and coming here, coming onto this side and there's another, okay, that's good. Over here to see how those things tie together. Okay, and there is some very attractive water over there. So I'm gonna get a little bit shape here. Now I'm gonna have the, the rack over here. Okay, that's looks good. And a little bit shape. To start from like a, being a little bit more playful, play around this how the color look, and I'm gonna have a little bit darker, have a little bit rock over here, and showing that this is actually more at the front, <laughs> like that. That's good. Some space. I really like this how this come out, and the light coming from the backs that make it very attractive, very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have this coming in here a little bit more like the rock. <laughs> Okay, like that. That's very good. And I'm gonna keep this a little bit lighter. And now take a look at the front over here and have a little bit yellow. If you think a little bit more like a brown color, just yellow, red, that's become orange and get a little bit blue, just the blue. All the three color I use, it's just, that's simple. Uh, I use the Windsor and Newton, a brand of professional colors. Okay, and take a look at here. Here you go. <coughs> Coming over here, some water movement, some ripple over here. Okay, have a little bit more yellow. Turn into feel a little bit more like gold. That's good. Like that. Just have fun, okay? And the front over here is seeing a little bit blue color. So I'm gonna add the blue color in. And that is feel more as, you know, the reflection on the water in the sand. That's good, like that. Okay, a little bit more. And you can paint a little bit larger if you feel like you need more space. So I'm gonna have some dry brushes going through over here. So be a little careful. This is actually the reflection of that. So if you don't have a very tall 
uh, space over there and you don't have to make that much uh, reflection okay okay here have a little bit that this is good I'm gonna have a little bit darker right at the front over here because this is the uh, seeing the the catch the shadow of those shape okay that's good a little bit darker yeah like that all right some little shape a little shape here okay we can come back to get a little bit detail but now we have a nice balance that is is this is the main figure I we have some soft shape and on the beach over here to create a contrast and we have some soft shape in the background right let's do let's give it a little bit more like a, take a look at the sky over here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna turn it into my flat brush so these two brushes uh, I actually is the pair and so what I use uh, now all the time I'm gonna take a look at the, the sky what I'm gonna do I'm just going to wet the sky and at the beginning of the painting not necessary to wet the entire paper to start the painting unless you want everything look soft and mush together okay now this is good and it's quite wet so if you decide on try to start painting into it it depends on if you want it to be very soft area and then go ahead okay as as I'm talk 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 now is it you have to give it uh, a minute already dry right so good now I'm gonna change it not really that much about the I'm gonna have a little bit more like uh, the the blue color from the top over here instead of having the brown color so I'm gonna have that you can change the color if you want so that's good enough if you like there's some cloud and some blue sky over there and now I'm gonna come in to have a little bit brownish color and now I start the painting gather some yellow you can see these three color together if you mix it it's just the gray color if you have a little bit more yellow and red the gray color would be brown right brown is a gray color now I'm gonna think, think about right here okay at the top over here I don't want to make this just too dark okay just making sure that is a little bit a little bit softer okay also don't make it uh, too much contrast okay like this and you can be spontaneous okay that's like that that's good and the bottom over here we're showing the uh, water the splash and those okay that's good all right that's good I'm gonna have a little bit lighter so I'm gonna just clean my brush and just the water and have this a little bit softer at the bottom okay that's good okay now I'm gonna take a look at right here you're gonna have a totally different feeling when you remove or uh, redo some of the shapes I'm gonna have this moving up and I'm gonna make it feel like the water is brushing going up right that's good just use this brush very good organize things okay I'm gonna also have this a little bit softer moving up over here just a little bit up okay it may be too wet it may be require you to come back over here again but we're gonna see and I'm gonna have this the color coming down over here okay there you go and I'm gonna leave that alone for now and I'm gonna have this also a little bit lighter like that yeah, come back a little bit later now I'm going to uh, take a look at the bottom here it's very much the same color and uh, take a look I can use this flat brush to make it really fun and just do 
sometimes use the corner, the fill here. You just drag it and you can choose some very, very uh, thin shape. And if you want to have half of the brush painting, and you actually t you have a medium size uh, brush stroke, um, and if you use the whole brush in making it much much bigger, so I'm gonna have a little bit blue, uh, blue color over here. That's the reflection of the sky. This is good. I'm gonna put that right here at the front, and seeing that. A little bit blue color. That's good. You're seeing a little cloud over there. That's good. It's just that's good enough. And that's good. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. Uh, this flat brush, I have very good lifting uh, ability. So you just, if you want this a little bit softer, just lift it up. So that's good. Now, I'm going to come back to add a little bit shadow in the background. So I'm going to, right here, I'm going to put a little bit um, suggestions of shadow. Okay, that's good. Got a little bit blue, make it a little bit darker. That's good. So now I'm going to have something right here. So thinking about, they are all mark shapes. Okay. We always used shape as an idea. That's good. Now I give a little bit suggestions to that. Okay, that's good. A little bit shape. Nice. And I'm gonna have this also. A little bit shape over here. And just think about the balance of those shapes. I'm gonna just make it not so dark. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to take a look at the shape uh, in the middle over here, okay, uh, just a little bit darker, just get the blue, red, and yellow color together, and that's just too bright, too warm, so I'm going to make it just a little bit blue, but that's just maybe too dark, so I'm going to have a little bit water, right, it's very easy to calculate that, maybe a little bit more blue, because I want it to be cooler. Okay, that's good. Like that. All right, now I'm gonna come back over here. Reinforce the shape. That's good. Just the corner of the brush, like that. Okay, coming over here. That's good. That's very good. I like that. Just think about simple shape. And the corner over here. I'm a little bit forward over here. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna come back with uh, my calligraphy brush. Now, I'll take a look at a little bit smaller shape. Okay, now, take a look over here. Now, take a look at all those shape, how the, how the shape connect together, and nice movement like that. That's good. We try to get the impression and try to give enough suggestions to uh, so our audience, the viewers, it will uh, getting that connection is oh the beach. Okay. And something is going on over there. Okay. And maybe the water. Okay. So let's get a little bit more like a cooler, the blue color. I'm gonna have a little bit suggestions for the like the the shadow side of the water. So I have a little bit blue. Okay, that's good. A little bit blue, not much. And over here I have shadow. Like that. That's just good. And now we're gonna have a little bit darker. Over here. That's just the the rocks. You can see the shadow and the light. Okay, that's good. Very good. I'm gonna have that so come up a little bit. That's nice shape. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's continue working on. Uh, get a little bit blue, mix into this. Okay, that's just good. Now I'm gonna working into uh, 
the wave over here. I'm going to start from this one. And this right here, push it down and drag it. And that's perfect. Okay, less is more. I'm going to do that a little bit darker. Put a little bit pink into it. And a little bit, move a little bit, drag over. That's good. And here you go. That's a little shape, some shape like this. That's good. And coming on to this side, a few lines. Okay, that's good. And, and every new member, when they join, I always uh, type a welcome message. And this is not by the email system, it's me. And I always type a message asking if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm very sincerely uh, ask for your uh, feedback, okay? So if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Don't be hesitate, just, just tell me, okay? I have a question. I could not find a certain things uh, because we have so much, uh, so much thing uh, in the Learning Center, also in, on Patreon. It just let me know, okay? I'm here to help you, to have fun. And our community is called Enjoying Art. Yes, I really, we really mean it that every one of us is supposed to have fun and enjoy it. Enjoy everything we do. Okay, here you go. Continue. And this is a little bit longer, like that. That's good. I'm coming over here and connect it to this longer shape. Look at that, that's good. All right, I think this is uh, good enough in the back over here. And we're gonna have a little dry brush like this and don't really need much paint, okay? Just, and the speed is we can make it more dry. Okay, here you go. Like that, that's good. And coming over here, that's the dry brush. Very nice. Okay. Wonderful. I'm going to have some, a little bit thinner line. That's good. A little bit over here. And a little line over here. And now I come down back over here. I have a little bit bluish color. Okay. And here you go. Take a look at, ooh, I like that. And here you go. Have some soft shape. That's good. And look at it again. That's good. Now we get a very good impression of the water. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna get a couple more over here. And the end of this, and a little bit darker. That's good. All right. Now the the balance we already created it. That's what's good. It's good to leave some uh, light uh, shape around. And now we're going to coming back to look at these two figures. Right. You see how easy and simple as the whole process can be. It's just simply little by little and focus on one thing at a time, right? So let's first take a look at behind on the top of uh, the big figures. And it's a little bit more like orange color, right? Just take a look at that. And this is good. Yellow and red, no, no blue. So it's very bright orange color. Now let's take a look at right here. It's showing that we have some backlight. That's good. Like that. That's good. Now it's, it's work, okay? This is good. Okay, now we're going to uh, paint the big area first, if you can. So I'm gonna paint his body, okay? And the blue and the red together would be the very dark color. Okay, here you go. 
there's the skirt. Now I'll take a look at the whole shape. That's good. And coming up a little bit. Right over here. Okay, we can paint it into uh, his face in a moment. Just think about the shape. Okay, here you got the shoulder. That's good. Like that. Simple. And now the arm coming down here. Look at that. And the sleeve ended here. Like that. Here you go. That's the arm. All right, let's continue. And take a look on the side over here. I'm just going to have the body maybe slide a little bit away from the arm. Like that. Wonderful. Uh, one thing at a time. Okay, now the shoulder coming down over here. Look at it again. Okay, all the way down over here. That's good. Now, stop. Okay. Now the bottom of the shirt. Stop here. If you want the shirt connected into the pants, and that you can do that wet into wet. The pan definitely too light, right? I'm going to have a little bit yellow and merge into this. That also have a little bit more blue, so I have a little bit feel a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Let's connect that coming down here. Okay, right in the middle over here, a little bit darker. I want it to be connected, softer from the shirt. So here we go. Coming here, that's good. And there's the front. And we can connect it. This is will be the lightest color on the pants. I'm going to add some darker color after. Okay. Here you go. Now here, that's good. All right. That's good. Let's take a look. Look, like open up a little bit. And I'm going to have... Now this is good, the pants is good, and we're going to gradually going back to the face. And now I'm going to see that just the brown color, right? So let's take a look at the foot. Here you go, like this. Look at the shape again. Good. Now coming down a little bit. And at the the top of the foot also I see a little light. So I'm going to keep a little bit light. That will be fine. Now on this side, it actually can be a little bit darker. Okay. Now I'm going to first paint the, paint the shape of this foot. That's good. It's a very good suggestion already. Now I'm going to have some even darker color. So I don't want that much water. Now I'm going to just uh, have that blue and a little bit more blue and have a little bit more red that's going to be very dark so that's good now i'm gonna have that right here that's dark color that also because the angle of the foot caused the cast shadow and the middle over here also going to put a little bit dark color there and also a little bit dark color over here Okay, let's see. So I'm going to just not too, too dark. Just a little bit darker color. And seeing this would be inside over here also have shadow. Okay, here you go like that. And the middle over here. Uh, that's good. Getting the dimension. Nice. Okay, now also going to go back to uh, the shirt over here. Now I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker right here. That's good. All right, and look at the arm over here. It can be a little bit more round. Okay, that's good. All right, so we can see uh, the doubt a little bit more. Uh, 
define. Uh, as we started the, uh, the painting and with the, the watercolor drawing is we don't actually have much um, a weight on the main figure. So it's gradual, we develop it. Oh, someone just asked what the three colors. The three colors is, first the brand is the Windsor & Newton professional paint and so if you go to any store looking for Windsor & Newton color and and you can see the three simple color and you need to pick most most of the the people would suggest you they have 12 color and 6 color uh, 48 colors, you don't really need that much color, okay? So only the three colors, that is, is the Windsor Yellow, which is their primary colors, and Windsor Red, so Windsor is a W-I-N-S-O-R, so you can search for their color. And the Windsor Blue, green shade. Windsor Blue has two different shades, one is red shade, one is blue shade. And uh, I sometimes use the red shade, um, but most of the time I use the one, one shade that's good enough. Okay, so that is it. Or you can just take a look at the video descriptions. You maybe see a link is go to enjoyingart.com slash materials. And when you go there, you can see all other, oh, the light up already and all other material that I use for different medium, okay? And thank you for asking. And now I'm gonna take a look at the hand. Okay, when you get to this point, is everything just fun, okay? And now you already know the location, I already know that it's just, uh, also important, you need to have a good brush to execute all the small details, okay? So if you need the brush, you just go to the uh, enjoyingact.com slash brushes. You can see that, okay. And also put it into the video description after. So that's good right there. So that's just good. Now we're gonna go back to the face. Uh, I'm gonna start from the top and take a look at that. Okay, let me know if you have any question. Don't hold back, okay? If I cannot answer you now, I put it into the uh, descriptions or put it into uh, respond to your comment after. Okay, that's the face over here. So if you think about, this is a face, this is an uh, uh, eye, you're gonna go, you're gonna do too much. Right now, the only thing you need to do is, oh, there's a dark shape over here. Okay, that's all you need to do. And there's a little lighter shape like that. And you're thinking about that, oh, this is the too, too light, and that's too dark. Okay, just keep thinking about that shape. Like that in the front over here, definitely is a little bit too uh, light. So it's just darken it a little bit. Now I'm gonna have the blue, and simplify it. We're not actually paint people. Actually, we're painting shapes. And even though the shape will connect the imagination of people, but that is their effect, that after we're painting the shape, it makes the people think about there's two people walking on the beach, right? But when you paint it, you don't have to think about their people. It's just shapes. Okay, that's good. Have it here. It's a different kind of uh, thinking, different way of trying to accomplish uh, the image. Okay, now this is good. Now I'm gonna take a look at the baby. Okay, and take a look at the baby's head. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color right here on the shadow side, the front over here. See a little bit here. That's good. They all they look like the baby, and the baby have some shadow. So the shadow is shapes, right? That's just the eye 
right in the middle over here just a little bit darker shape looking for the shape don't think about oh there's an eye okay let me make it look like an eye okay we cannot paint the eye okay we don't see the eye we just see a little bit shadow that's good that's good enough now I'm gonna have that little bit darker shape right here on the shoulder over here get up a little bit that's good okay take a look at you can't paint the finger just paint four lines and that's all you need to do right here so if you can just paint four simple line two three four and it will look like fingers all right here we go now that's good and I'm gonna take a look at the, the shirt have a little bit blue in it that's good like that okay that's good now I'm gonna come to the, the pants so I need to have a little bit red I think about there is some fold some shadow in the middle over here okay simplified what you use is very important so always fun uh, search for the sim simple setup that you need okay if you want to use mine uh, you can start it using what I use only three color two brushes and that's it Okay. and then the shadow over here if you have a little bit darker color like that is showing this uh, this uh, little leg is curved because it's facing down is the shadow okay like that this is pretty good now we're gonna finish the the see the water so a little bit more like a brownish color the water over here when it's splash okay here you go have a little line yes yeah, seeing that a little length like that that's good a few line like this and look at here yeah, some water ripple here we go that's good and it's one thing at a time I keep saying that the process is very important you don't have to paint the everything that I, that I'm painting but you can uh, use the same process uh, and you can paint what you want to paint uh, but the process is universal it's the, the same process always start from large to small okay okay that's good coming down over here a little bit more I'm more darker so I'm gonna have that exact shape okay here we go I'm gonna have a little bit dry brush so get the dry brush you're going to just have a little tissues let go the water okay just take the paint and let go the water and it will become dry okay here you go like that a little bit more a little bit dry brush Okay, that's good. Oh, that wonderful. Okay, like that. And the baby over here, the same. And get a more and more away from the body is to have a little bit more dry brush. Okay, like that. Come over here. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I think that's too much. So water is an eraser. You just wash wash it off. It's about how easy, right? Watercolor. So it's just the water and the color on the paper. You wash it off, you erase it. Okay, here we go. Okay, simple. Simple idea. Simple process. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna have a little bit light. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit darker, a little bit blue. In this, here you go. A little bit more. Like that, here you go. A little bit. Now make sure that is straight from the top. Okay, that's good. 
Now, the baby refraction is there. And now take a look at the adult. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. So you can see this more of the bottom. Okay, there we go. It's got a little bit darker. Okay, like this, have a little bit red. Because of this blue is the green shade blue color. So green shade blue color with the red is make it a little bit more or less purple, more like a brown, dark brown, but very, very deep color. Now, here we go. I'm going to have it from here. And I'm going to have that, okay, a little bit darker. Seeing that, the reflection, very good. And here you go, like right here. Yeah, in we're gonna have more dialogue, have more conversation in in the community about what our member like to learn more, so I can construct the lesson and demonstrations and to help you to learn and have fun. Okay, that's good. Now get that shape very nicely. Now I'm going to get a little bit softer and let it gradually, the color, connect it into, uh, so it's not getting very sudden. That's good. Like that. Yeah, wonderful. Like this. Okay, have a little bit, a little bit connected. That's good. Okay, now the head, yeah, right here. So I'm going to have a little bit darker, right over here. And that's good. All right. And I'm thinking about the reflection for the baby. It can be also a little bit darker, but not over dark. That's good. Like a little bit darker right here. Okay, that's good. And now we take a look at the whole painting, how it looks. Now the reflection looks very nice, and and the front over here, I'm going to give a little bit more clear, okay, like this, a little bit more clear, not very dark, but want to be more clear. You see that, like this, have some shape. Okay, that's good. A little bit blue, like that. That's good. A little bit shape over here too. Now. Looks very good. And that's good. A little bit softer. So I'm going to make this a little bit softer by using the flat brush. I'm going to have this just use the water to soften the shape. Okay, that's good. 45 degree to the paper and you can move out those shape. Now take a look at the back over here. Do you want to keep it just a little bit loose, a little bit soft like this? And I think this is fine. And I'm just going to give it a little bit, just a little bit, not too, too dark. So I'm going to just a little bit shadow over here at the front here. Okay, a little bit shadow like that. That's fine. Okay, that's good, a little bit shadow. And this looks very good already. And I think the impression of the water is already there. So I could actually have this, just use the water with this brush. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer, 45 degree to the paper. And then it would move out the color, make it a little bit lighter. So feel more as water. Okay, and I think this painting this demonstration is finished. So hopefully I have fun with this. It's saying an error occurred. Please try again later. And so I'm not sure that everyone's seeing this uh, whole demonstration on YouTube. Uh, do they seeing that? Okay. 
Okay, I guess uh, it's just my view. So I'm going to end this demonstration and hopefully we're going to be have uh, less and less confusion in the future. Looking forward to seeing you guys next Friday.